what's up YouTube face and uh, Facebook and Twitch Robert the corner trap here and I'm back again with another episode of Rob's random ROMs this is where I set Google's random number generator to the number of Super Nintendo ROMs that I own which is 721 and whatever number comes up that's the game I'm playing now there for a, a while, we were having a bit of a run of bad luck with uh, sports games showing up quite frequently. And I don't know if we've had a similar thing happen here today, but it's kind of the same. Because today we will be playing Bass and Black Bass with Hank Parker for the Super Nintendo. This game was developed by Starfish Inc. and published by Hot B in September of 93 of 94 for Japan and November of 94 for North America. Uh I have no idea what to expect out of this game, but we're going to see what we got as we head into the gameplay. Oops, my headset was not turned on. Uh-oh. We have we have issues. We have more issues than pixels here on Rob's Random Roms sometimes. Um, I might have a solution. This is a dumb solution, but it works. I think it did charge, actually, because I, I, I left it on the charger all night. I just didn't turn it off when I set it on the charger, so it likes to... <laughs> Use your finesse and skill to become world champion. I don't even know if I want to become a world champion f uh, uh, for to become a, a world champion. Uh, I can't unplug that. Okay, so that seems to have worked. I expected something, you know, kind of, uh... Start game. Let's see what happens here. Choose one. Choose one. I, I think I want to go there in the middle. Input your name. I think we have to kind of do this in honor of J uh, Jim Sterling. detail local amateur tournament at Green Valley this is the local amateur tournament at beautiful Green Lake Valley Lake 50 in entries desire to be pro bassers only top three go to the next event good luck to all of you here are the tournament rules Review rules? Yes. Because <laughs> I don't even know. Tournament hours start 7 a.m. and 4.30. Only black bass will be included in weigh -in, at the weigh-in. Total weight determines your ranking. Maximum of five fish may be kept in the live well. Extra fish should be culled. One pound penalty for each minute an angler is late. Disqualification, more than 20 minutes late. Review again? No. <laughs> just jumps up after the guy that just introduces, Hi, I'm John. Hey. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, I don't know what I'm doing, so yes. He looks, that guy kind of looks like, uh, oh, what was his name? This link is uh, plant life. Head for the reeds or the lily pads.
I can't even really see. Try to get my thing back so I can leave. Okay. Okay. I wanted to change... I wanted to change spots! I don't know what that is. Like, like what that noise is. But I'm apparently 30 feet away from where I am. A little bit at a time. How do I... I don't want to cast again. I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to... I want to get away from here. Move. There we go. Perfect. Figured it out. <laughs> Is that a depth finder? Like, I didn't even notice the... Okay. So, maybe that was my problem. I don't even know what's going to happen here. Like, I hope I catch a fish. Like, I hope I get to get one. I don't know. Oh, I, I think that noise is like frogs. I didn't think you guys wanted to hear me sneeze. Okay, so that actually I think will help me. Okay, we're under the water now. Oh, 
I, I think I saw a fish. I wonder if they've got like a set pattern, like they have uh, certain ways of, of going. I know, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I've got to get a fish at least one. Four degrees. I don't see any fish. Like, I don't... I don't know how to bass... Or, I've never been bass fishing. I don't really fish all that much anyway. I saw a fish there. Just let me catch one. What's that old saying? Uh, bad day of fishing beats a good day of work. Well, maybe it's true. this is good like Get after the get after the thing. Get after the thing, you. I mean, I know where the fish is. Like right about there is where I'm gonna start trying to cast it. He's way out there. So, I mean, I don't know if we're going to get any kind of fish on this one. But we can definitely try it last. Let's give it one last cast. Right in your, I'm right in your purview. Why are you not going after the? Why are you not going after the thing? I landed right on the fish, and it didn't even. It's like, no, we don't want that. I don't think I am a good fisherman. 
I, I don't think that that's a, a thing that I get to say I am. Come on. You know what? I'm going to leave it there. Make it dance. Make it dance. Make it dance. I don't think they're interested. I don't know if it's supposed to be like on top of the water or if it's supposed to be in the water. Let's see if we can if we can move. Let's see here. Oh, well then. Let's see if the frog will do better. Oh no! I don't know what that means. Come on. Come on. Oh! I got a fish! I got one! We didn't have to give up on this run after all! Let's see, nine feet, five feet, we got a fish! Come on, got him! Oh yeah! Got the fish! A largemouth bass, approximately late weight 1.2 pound. This fish is ranked number one right now. Alright, you caught your first fish. You got a bass on your first try. That's awesome! Drop that one in the live well. Yep! Okay, so actually, we're gonna move here because I've been told that's what you do. Like, you don't want to overfish an area. Cast. Looks like a good spot for big bass. Thank you, cat. I see the fish over there. 
It says it's 8.30 in the game. Let's do one more cast. supposed to be quiet when you're fishing and I think that that's probably why I don't really prefer it as a, as a leisure activity because it's kind of boring in my mind it's not that it's it's not fun to catch a fish because I've fished before and I enjoyed it what why are you You know what? I think I've done enough fishing for today. So, was it a bad game? Heck no. It, it, fine design and well animated. Uh, the sprites looked okay and decent, you know, at the very least. And I wouldn't have hated, you know, well, I would have hated owning it because I don't play a lot of sports games and I don't like fishing very much, but... You know, not terrible. So, I want to thank you all for watching. If you're watching me on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe, share all those wonderful things down below. Hit the bell for the notifications. If you're watching me on Twitch, go on ahead and give me a marvelous little follow by hitting that uh, heart button above. I'm at 35 followers, 76 subscribers on YouTube, trying to make 100 on YouTube, trying to make 50 on Twitch so I can become an affiliate and be uh, be amazing. Um, also, I am trying to, uh, shout out new places, including the melting pot. If you live in, uh, if you live in Conroe or you live in, uh, Houston, I believe they also have uh, a second location coming up very soon in spring off of Kirkendall and 99, I've been told, uh, on February 6th, they will be opening up their second location. They do, uh, CBD, cannabidinol. Uh, they are very, very knowledgeable people. Really love uh, going in there now. I've I've been in there. I went in there yesterday for the first time, and I'm not really an expert on this or anything. But the uh, but the gentleman that helped me was extraordinarily friendly, very, very knowledgeable, willing and and ready and willing to answer any and all questions that I may have had or my husband had about. Uh, the products that they had on the shelves and their uh, one of their passions is uh shouting out local businesses like uh just stocking things that come from somewhere very close by and uh one of the things that uh my husband tried was uh their uh was this this balm made with uh beeswax and CBD and it listed all they had a, like a little blackboard and had listed out all of the uh all of the ingredients in the in the salve and my husband rubbed it on went back into the bathroom rubbed it on his knees and said it was the best he'd felt in months because he was able to have a greater a greater range of flexibility and um had he bought a, a, a and we plan on buying a full jar of it uh, just because it sounds like something amazing to, to, to have on hand for those days when you're a little bit achy when you're a little bit sore it takes care of your it takes care of you and I think he said it was something like uh, 900 milligrams of it was either four or 900 milligrams I can't remember which of uh, CBD which uh, is very very powerful and worked extraordinarily well for uh, my husband's uh flexibility and then i i look forward to seeing if you know maybe a a heightened application of such would help 
They also carry many other things like teas and coffees. Like you can get a coffee infused with CBD. Uh, they had uh, CBD honey for their teas that were also uh, cannabis infused, which are amazing and very, very, uh, like I said, very, very knowledgeable, very, very friendly. Highly recommend if you're in the area, please go check them out. Also, speaking of people you should check out, check out my good friend Will from Peace Loving Guns and Peace Loving Games. He just put out a video yesterday. Uh, I forget what was the. It was uh, the acronym that he put together, uh, or that for the shotgun that he was reviewing, was actually rather clever. Um, it was the uh, Fabarm. Uh, XLR5 uh, reverse uh, reverse 12 gauge. I really recommend you check out his videos. I'm going to be watching that one uh, after I get off of here. So go for Will. Love him to death. He's a great guy. Uh, always like shouting him out. Also, speaking of people I like to shout out because they shout me out, my good friend Jake Hudson. Jake Hudson does WWE AEW uh TNA Impact does Grimm's Toy Show reviews, results, previews, predictions. Uh, always, always, always like shouting him out because he's always, always, always shouting me out, and he's a great person. Just like our good friend Chris Peeps is an amazing person. I am a proud member of the Peeps Nation. Uh, Chris Peeps does WWE, AEW, preview predictions, reviews, results, all those marvelous things. Uh, always happy to shout him out because he's always happy to have me on the show. So there's that. A uh, bit of news also. Uh, I may be streaming a little less this week. Uh, not because of any stupid oh, or highly stupid reasons. But um, here in the next week I may be taking, you know, streaming every other day doing Rob's Random Roms. Because uh, I love you guys, and I want you guys to have the best content I can possibly produce. And uh, we're going to see uh, what we can do to make sure that I can continue to be the person here that uh, is highly entertaining, highly uh, the person that you guys like seeing. And uh, mental health is always an important thing. Um, and on that note, I want to I say I love you all very much. You're all amazing people. Please never forget that you're not alone and that if you need to talk, hit me up on Rob's at Rob's Random Roms. I'm more than happy to uh, converse with anybody. And if, if you need, talk to you whenever I can and try and remind you that the world loves you. There are many people who would not be the same if you were not here. So. Again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>